y'all. Happy Tuesday. Yes, are you back at work? Are you going to work? What you doing today? Since we gotta go back to work. some coffee with it y'all yeah I did that before I'm not gonna try to bore you long I got some other videos that I recorded that I didn't uh, even download because I just feel like I'm just rattling on like I always do but y'all uh, <clears throat> I am coming down to the conclusion that the girl got to do something different. And you like, what is that spark? I was, you know, as I informed you guys earlier that, uh, Okay, they trying to get money for they did that. Y'all did that before. Now I hear Pat and she got made her picture talking about a funeral. The news people gonna pick her up. Maybe you can hear. But anyway, um Oh, I got distracted because the girls over here with a sign trying to raise money <clears throat> for a funeral it looked like a kid. But here in Arizona, y'all, they are known to stoop to the lowest to try to get some money out of you. Now, one thing I know for sure that if you don't have no money to bury your loved one, and if you don't, if your income, I think if your income is either at six hundred, I don't know if they raise it up, but when my sister passed away in 2017. Um, I contacted the Department of Social Services, the welfare, and um, to see <coughs> does Arizona give any money um, for deceased loved ones? And the lady told me that yes, they do. If uh, the person income was either at 600 or below 600 and then they give I think like $1,500 or $1,000 now she's showing the kid so I don't know how that applies towards the uh, living parent I don't know but I know they are notorious down here for um I ain't got my towel in here. For uh, panhandling. Oh, I guess that's what you call it. Is that what you call it? Panhandling on the corners. Asking for money. And y'all, I'm like, I don't know what people's situation is. But baby, as hard as it is for me to get up and go to work. Getting up at 4, 4.30 in the morning. If I can do it. Anybody can do it. And I used to watch my sister. Okay. A dialysis patient. Get up 5 o'clock in the morning. Go do her dialysis treatment. She had to sit up there, I think, like three hours. Come home. Get herself together. And drive 30 minutes and go to work. I'm like, girl, come on now. You got to give your ch yourself a chance to, uh, your body a chance to recruit. Uh, and she told me, she said, I got to go make my money. Well, she said, I feel all right. I got to go make my money. 
Cause I got bills to pay. I'm like rent to pay. And man, I watched her. I'm like, girl, you know what, honey, you my inspiration. I'm like, yes, you are. Cause you on dialysis too, and you working, and you driving. Come on, girl. Come on. Yeah. You know, we got some kind of construction. And she's driving 30 minutes on the freeway, y'all. At least 25 to get to work. Because we live over in the West Valley, what we call the West Valley. And she had to drive over to the East Valley. And that was basically all the way east. And I used to fuss at her. I'm like, come on, man. Get your job on this side of town. And she said, well, I'm going to go through all that when I got my job. I'm like, that girl was a trooper. She said she wasn't going to let no grass grow up under her feet. And she didn't. <laughs> yep. Uh-uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Swerving over here. I don't know what you doing in that car, but baby, oh, don't be trying to mess up mine. But anyway, um, y'all, like, I'm feeling some kind of way today, but I'm going to try to push through it. I did use my inhaler. I forgot what I was talking to y'all about. Yep. Couldn't get my nap out today. Had to have some uh, work done. Been having problems with the hot water heater. Um, the guy came and he was like, well, the hot water heater have a circuit breaker on it. And um, said so the circuit breaker is burnt out. So he recommended a new one. So he put in a new one. And then I started telling him about my dryer. I'm like, you know where you set the uh, the timer? The thing just comes on by itself. At first, he wasn't doing it. He said uh, the start switch gets stuck in position, but how do I supposed to know that? But anyway, got a brand new dryer, brand new spanky new, brand spanky new dryer. Yes, so the hot water heater is new. The dryer is new. I'm like, well, the dryer been used for eight years because the people that lived there before us was there for four years, four and a half years. And then, you know, we've been there for about four years. At least I think that's how long we've been there. But anyway, everything is new. So when I don't when I don't have a chance to get my nap, y'all, I, I feel like my ecosystem is off. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go and knock out these two and a half hours so I can get paid accordingly. Yep, gotta make them daily wages. And y'all, this is hump time. This is hump time for me um, because the last uh, two pay periods, because we was off for the holidays, y'all. You know, you when you ain't working, your pay look crazy. And then we had two week, two days off last week, and I'm like, you know what? I was looking to do that week, but I only made thirty hours. Thirty hours for four days, and I'm like, no, nah, baby, uh huh. And the way the uh, let me turn it. The way our pay period is set, how they got it set is we get um, two and a half weeks of pay. So basically I can make up to, if I go to work, I can make up to 72 hours. Is it 72, 78 hours, something like that. I can get some hours, but January Ugh. 
And I'm like, my next pay only gonna be four days. And I'm like, man. But, you know, you have to plan. You had to plan for them days. You gotta put your little, like my like my grandmama said, you gotta put your little 10, 20 cent back. You gotta put it back, cause you don't know what's gonna happen. And y'all, I cleaned out my purse this morning. I had money all strolled up through that joker, child, shoot. I got to pulling that money out of there. I pulled out at least about $150. I'm like, that'll work. <laughs> Yep, I had money in every little pocket up in that purse. And I'm like, wow, how did I start doing this? Yep. And I put that money up. Because I don't need it. Because I got, you know, I got the money already in my, that was in my wallet. So, hey, that worked out good for me. That, that's what happened when you be doing that retail therapy. Yep. go. He's trying to bound the side of me. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. This thing got me feeling like, I don't know, they said it's an upper respiratory virus that's going around. They don't know what it is. They know what it is. Making us out of some doggone test tubes. And y'all, I do apologize. I do forget. I did forget what it was I was really talking to you guys about. But okay, I know why I turned on this camera, y'all. I know that much. Keep an eye on your kids. If you got kids at home with you, see what they doing, y'all. Okay, see what your kids is doing. Just don't um, give them them tablets, them cell phones, and tell them to go somewhere. Uh-uh, baby, you better see what your kids is doing. Don't be so hypnotized into what you are doing that you don't know nothing about what your kids doing. See, let me tell you. I work with kids. And honey, okay, this morning I was talking to a young lady. Oh, and make sure your kids is properly dressed, especially if you live in a in a state that is a cold climate. Man, these doggone kids coming out here ain't got no coat on, got these little thin um what you call them things? Them little thin hoodies on. And the girls, honey, the girls, they so busy trying to look cute, half-dressed, wearing a little crop hoodie. I told this one little girl this morning, I said, what's, I said, what's wrong with you? She said, what, what you talking about? I said, you didn't get the memo? You didn't get the newsletter. You didn't see the news this morning. You didn't feel it when you walked out the door. She was like, what? I said, girl, it's cold outside. And why you out here half dressed, man? Where's your coat at? I told her, now, excuse me. I said, yes. I said, I'm a woman of age. Okay, I'm older woman. Okay, and look at all, I didn't have this on. I didn't have this on. Okay. I had on a, a nice thick jacket. I said, okay. I'm like, I know I'm cold. The next two ladies sitting next to me, they cold. What, 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 what was going on with you? What's going on with you? Well, you ain't cold. Okay. And the mother lady said, oh, she just trying to look cute. And she started smiling. I said, oh, you that's what it is? You try to look cute? You want somebody to notice you? I said, let me tell you something, girl. I said, what you do to your body now, when you get older, you're going to feel it. I guarantee you that. 
Ain't no shape, form, or fashion getting around that. I guarantee you're going to feel it. And she stopped there smiling. I said, you ever heard of arthritis? You ever heard of rheumatism? I said, arthritis get in your bones, make your joints all swell up and knot up. I said, you see elderly people where they hand, they knuckles look real big, their fingers all conjointed and, and drawn up and stuff. I said, that's arthritis. I said, if you don't take care of your body now, honey, you're going to pay for it when you get older. Yes, you are. I said, if you don't remember nothing else, I'm telling you, babe, put some clothes on. When it's cold, dress appropriately. Okay? And then after I said all that and a little bit more, a little brother was standing there and, uh, wow. What she said, um, he said something to her and she told him that she was going to get her friends to jump on him. I'm like, what did you say? And she said, well, I was just playing. I'm like, no, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. I told, I looked at him. I said, she do that all the time, don't she? He was like, yeah. I said, but do she get the people to jump on you? Yeah, sometime. I said, I'll be doggone. Y'all need to watch, see what y'all kids are doing to one another. Honey, I talk to kids every day. And baby, these kids, some of these kids got, got murder on their mind. When it comes down to their siblings, oh, there is no love, honey. There is no love. I'm like, what in the world is y'all parents teaching y'all? I tell them, I, I tell them about my kids, how I never allowed my kids to fight. Now, if they fought while I left them at home by themselves, but I guarantee you, when I got back, they didn't tell me. They didn't tell me that they was fighting one another. And although my kids are grown now, honey, they can have their differences, but you better not throw a punch. You better not. I don't care if you're 50, 60 years old. You better not throw a punch. Because you know what? When I was young with my sisters, that's all my brothers made us do is fight one another. But they call themselves teaching us how to fight. So when we go to school, we'll know how to fight the kids that's messing with us. But that didn't work with me because, honey, I was scared of cat. I didn't, I ain't hardly fight. I ain't fight nobody until I got grown. You know. So that'll work with us. We, we out there, we fighting and, and clawing one another's skin off. And what? For what? But my kids, mm -mm. my grandkids, no, baby, not in my house. Not in my house. You ain't, that siblings ain't fighting. Ain't no sibling rivalry up in here. What is that? Uh-uh. So see what your kids doing. Teach them to love one another. Teach them to respect one another. These kids cuss out one another like it ain't no tomorrow. We have uh, we have two siblings that go to a high school that we had to come in there uh, talk to them because these two girls, honey, they fighting like they complete strangers. I mean, like, oh my God, when you see them, you think it's two, two lioness in the cage going in. It. And then when you pull them apart, they laugh about it. Oh, we do this all the time. But you got scratches and bruises and stuff all on you. You do that all the time? Like, really? So check your kids. Check your kids. See what they doing. See what they doing on these internets. See who they talking to on the phone. Hey, I seen the video where the girl, little girl, they had hurt you. Everybody in the, in the, they sitting on the couch in the living room. Everybody watching movies or something. All of a sudden, the little girl, she get up and she go right to the front door and go on out the door. And her dad jump up and follows her. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And she said, my friend is out here waiting on me. 
Say friend, what friend? And look who coming up to the door, y'all. A grown man. A grown man. Coming up to this man's door. Coming to get his daughter. I think she was like 10, 11 years old. Damn, was that me or him? 10 or 11 years old. And I'm like, huh? Baby, talking about her friend is outside. And they, they had it on camera, the man standing on the man's porch. Coming to get his baby girl. Boy, oh, I tell you the truth. You know, we used to hear about that stuff when I was a little girl. But men was, they was really sneaky with it. Very sneaky. But now, honey, they all out in the open in now. They all out in the open. Your next door neighbor, honey, the clerk at the grocery store, the mailman, the UPS man. The maintenance man. Child, you better watch your kids, man. And back then, it was just girls. But now, huh, it's boys, too. You better watch your kids. All these people over here. Watch your kids. See what they doing. Don't just give them them tablets and they phones and uh, send them to their room. You don't know who them kids talking to. But baby, hey, let me tell you something. If you don't pay no attention to your kids and something happened to your kids and you was warned, ain't no need you crying. When they come up missing. Ain't no you out there hollering and screaming when they come up missing. Because you was told. Monitor your kids. Okay? Monitor your kids. Because honey, I can go on and on and tell you some stories. That you might not want to hear. Okay? So I'm getting ready to cut this, this video off and let you... uh. Go on and enjoy your Tuesday. And I hope that you stay blessed, stay prayed up, prayed up. And um, I'm going to try to clear my throat up because you know how you get that little twinge where you got a cough. Yeah, so <coughs> I see y'all in another video. Later, babes.